In this illustration, we intend to simulate pushover analysis of the steel plate shear wall and abacus software. In this picture, the results gained from the abacus software have been compared with those results obtained from experimental sample. As you observe, the deformation of the abacus software is quite conformed with laboratory sample. The purpose of this analysis is to draw the pushover diagram of the shear wall. Actually, we intend to simulate this article in the Abacus software. The article is titled Experimental Study of Diagonally Stiffened Steel Plate Shear Walls with Central Perforation. In this picture, the pushover diagram of the shear wall can be observed. Also, you can observe the experimental sample clearly in this picture. Then on elasticity and elastic. As explained in the Article, the young modulus of plate is equal to 204,000 megapascal and the Poisson ratio is equal to 0 0.3. I will click on mechanical menu, select plasticity and plastic. The yield stress is equal to 200 80 megapascal and the ultimate stress is equal to 500 megapascal. As explained in the article, the thickness of plate for the model SPSW2 is equal to 0 0.8 millimeters. And OK. Again, I will click on Create Section. In the next step, I will enter Assembly module. Click on Create instance, enter the beam into the assembly section and OK. Then I will click on Create instance and enter the plate into the assembly section. I will click on Rotate instance, select the plate, done. Rotate that for 90 degrees about Y axis and OK. Then I will transfer that to a proper place. I will click on Create Constraint, then select Coupling and Continue. I will select this reference point, then click on Surface, select these surfaces, Done, select Purple and OK. And as you observe, the results gained from the Abacus software are similar to experimental results.
In the next step, we intend to draw the pushover diagram of the shear wall. To do so, I'll click on Create XY Data on ODB Field Output and continue. Here I will select Unique Nodal, then a Reaction Force directed at Z axis, select Displacement directed at Z axis, then select this node and click on Save. In the next step, I'll click on Create XY Data, select Operate on XY Data and continue. Here I'll select Combine, then U, RF3 and click on Save. As you observe the results gained from the Abacus software are similar to those obtained from the article. Here I will transfer the results to Excel software. The first column is displacement, the unit of which is millimeter. In the next step, I'll draw the diagram. The diagram having been drawn with green color is the one having been obtained from the Abacus software. As it can be observed, the results gained from the Abacus software are so close to those mentioned in the article and the results obtained from the Abacus software are so precise, indicating that those results are exact and quite correct.